Hello everybody, it's nearly Christmas and here I am in Lapland. Yes, and I'm going out to a club tonight for a lap dart. No, a, a lap game of darts. It's great, isn't it? When you're in a studio like this, you can be absolutely anywhere. Let's go to Argentina and see how they're getting on with the celebrations. Good, let's go to Paris. Fine, riots. Okay, back to the studio. Isn't it marvellous? It's like having your own little spaceship, your own little time machine. Isn't it good? I saw yesterday that the new Doctor Who uh, is a man of colour who, who is gay. That's all right, isn't it? Okay, let's just uh, move on uh, for a second and speak about uh, a couple of little things I want to speak about. I was in London yesterday, and um, as I was in London driving, it took me... Ooh, three hours to get there from Southampton and four hours to get back uh, because of the strikes, Mr. Lynch, Lynch the Grinch. And uh, do you know what annoyed me more, though? More than people gluing themselves to the road. More than that advert on GB News. If you want to buy, sell or repair jewellery, go to the unit. Oh, God, that advert drives me bad. I could wring that Welsh bloke's neck, I tell you that. And I normally like the Welsh a lot, but not him. Deliveroo drivers, right? They're my pet hate now at the moment. Who do they think they are? These people driving around with a fishing box on their back with Deliveroo written. Why is it a Deliveroo? Is it an Australian uh, thing? What? It's like, a, what's them things called? Them Bamaroos. Boomerangs. That's it. It's a kangaroo and a Bamaroo and a boomerang. But straight through the red light. So you pull up at a red light and a cyclist comes on the inside Go straight through the red light. What's going to be done about that? Well, I, do you know what? I know it's Christmas and the spirit of goodwill, but I wanted him to be killed by a steamroller coming the other way like a cartoon. Why does it they do that? Why do cyclists... The, and I saw another bloke. Where's it going to end? Now there's a little bloke on a little scooter straight through a red light and turning left. In America, you can turn left on a, on a red light, can't you, if you're at a junction? Uh, but no, not here. Who's going to do anything about these people? And who's going to do anything about the fact that I predicted who would win Strictly Come Dancing, even though he came last about four times? It's absolutely... Well, not last four times. He was on the leaderboard. He was last bottom of four on the leaderboard and won. Do you think it's possible... Now, maybe you should try this, is write to somebody at the BBC and ask to see uh, the votes cast. Wouldn't that be good? Especially if you paid. If you voted on an app or a thing or whatever, and you have to pay to do that, don't you? Maybe then if they disregard your vote, that's fraud, isn't it? We'll have to shut them down and Ustream uh, will take over. Right, before we move on, let's go on to the other tit of the week, and that is that bloke Gary Neville. Gary Neville, he looks funny doesn't he? He never really, and anything really. And now he was on ITV with those girls, all them other girls that were on there talking about things. Lovely, isn't it? And uh, he's gobbing off about how the nurses are treated like the slaves that built the, the stadiums in Qatar. Well, he's off his head. And so said Harry Redknapp. And if Harry Redknapp says he's off his head, he's off his bloody head. Don't you worry about that. Quickly about the football, I'm glad that Argentina uh, beat the French and I don't quite know why. I've no love for the Argentinians because they killed a few of my mates and we killed a lot of their mates as well, but we're all friends now. I always say that we've given them a, we've built them a glass bottom boat so they can inspect their air force, but that's just some jingoistic rant from a right wing Tory scum comedian has been dinosaur. But anyway, we're all friends now. But the Argentinian team did look like Argentinians, didn't they? Now, I'm risking something here, but where did that French team come from? Why were they so different looking to what one would imagine a Frenchman to be? Is it global warming? Are they, I know the French had big colonies in, in Africa. Is, is that it? Or do they just have more ethnic minority people in France? But anyway, the Moroccans look like a, a, a team that... Uh, that were Moroccans, weren't they, really? It just goes to show where people from all over the world in the past, where they migrate to. So there was a McAllister, isn't there, in, uh, in the Argentinian team. So they had an influx of dinghies uh, coming up to Buenos Aires all the way from uh, Glasgow. So that's not bad, is it, eh? Right, so anyway, the football's over. Well done, Lionel, Lionel Richie, Lionel Messi. And uh, well done uh, to all of you. Bad luck to the French. <laughs>
Um, and, uh, and hope to see you all soon. Right, I'm going over to Ustream now to have a moan. Why don't you come and join us? Oh, here's some of the things you're going to be seeing over Christmas on Ustream. On Ustream this Christmas, Jim Sunday Sandwich, Cinderella, the brilliant Freddie Starr, this week, and lots more also streaming. Jethro on New Year's Eve, and Proper Comedians New Year's Day. Merry Christmas.